Hello guys, um, welcome back to a brand new video. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Uh, I sell my merch, thank you very much down in the description below. This is not a video that I really wanted um, to make or to happen, but it has due to the virus that's going around. Um, the Premier League the EFL and as far as I know all football down in the United Kingdom um, have been postponed to April the 3rd um, with that in mind the Premier League season was supposed to be finished on May the 17th now obviously due to this virus we are having to postpone this weekend like the fixtures Obviously, you can still see what I predicted for this weekend, um, but I probably will make that when the fixtures get rearranged. Um, but I think I wanted to make this video a lot because of how long it took the Premier League to, you know, to postpone games. Um, it's literally less than 24 hours, or coming up to that mark. Um, when we're supposed to kick off this weekend's Premier League football, Leicester versus Watford was supposed to be a 12 30 game. Obviously, not going to happen now. But why did it take the Premier League so long to postpone games? I don't get it. Um, Syria has postponed theirs for 30 days. The MLS has postponed their games for 30 days. You've got, um, you know, Syria. La Liga, they've all done it, um, and the Premier League, yet again, are the last ones, I think, to postpone their games for 30 days. Um, I think it is necessary for them to do this with the likes of what's going around, how many players are coming down with it, um, how many managers, uh, get where I see my car test one here. Um, but it's frustrating me with how long the Premier League has uh, took it to decide to cancel the game for 30 days. Um, obviously it's not just affecting the football, it's also affecting the, um, you know, Formula One, uh, you know, sports all over the world. Um, I'm trying to think of some other sports. Um, basketball, they put by their season. Um, this is what was crucial. The first season of the winter break and it sort of has backfired on us because this week, um, obviously, players have been training for the weekend's game. Obviously, not going ahead now, but this week, you know, could have actually been on winter break week. But anyway, it's nothing we can do about that now. But um, it's just frustrating me with how long the Premier League is looking to decide the, you know, postponement of the Premier League. Um, England's friendlies against Den Denmark and Italy are no longer going ahead either. Uh, whether that comes in with the international breaks or whether the Premier League will be allowed to play Premier League football on that international break, we have to wait and see. Um, there's just so much confusion in the air with the likes of what's going on. Um, so obviously, as I said, these weekend fixtures ain't going ahead. Um, I know that a couple of F1 races has been postponed as well. With I think it's Vietnam, and there's another one. I can't remember the next, that race. Um, it's supposed to be resumed at the Dutch Grand Prix, I think. But you know, it really does slightly frustrate me with the likes of what's going on in the world of football at the minute. Um, as I said, Syria and La Liga and the MLS will be back before the Premier League. Um, I know the MLS is in the third week of their season, so it won't be too much of an impact. Um, but La Liga and Syria and the Premier League and the EFL, it might have a big impact of what will finish at the end of the season. The plans are that the Council of Euro 2020 and um, that's on the books with um, UEFA. 
uh, so we could play throughout the summer. It'd be quite interesting to see how our players do throughout the summer if that goes ahead. With the likes of, you know, um, we never played football in the summer, but with the 2022 World Cup coming up, it will be slightly interesting to see what will um, be happening. You know, I think it's a week in September we've got to take out our Premier League season to play the World Cup. Um, so it'll be slightly interesting the way we're going to do this. Um, is it a blessing in disguise? Obviously, at this minute in time, it's not a uh, blessing in disguise. Um, I know people are falling ill with it. Um, I hope you all get better soon. Um, but yeah, this um, virus has really had, had a big impact. Um, people panic buying, um, which is understandable. Um, but some some things they're buying I can't quite understand. But there you go. Um, but yeah, as I said, I just wanted to make this video, um, let you know what's going on. As far as my Premier League predictions, um, obviously be no no Premier League predictions for the next three weeks, maybe even longer. But as soon as I get some news, I will let you know. Either on my social medias or I'll make a video about it. Um, but yeah, three weeks for no Premier League predictions, three weeks for no football. Um, a guy that likes his football, and trust me, I'll go watch more than a fair share of football throughout the season. Um, you know that if you follow me on social medias, um, especially on my Twitter and my Facebook. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna miss it. Um, as I said, if, if anyone's caught it, if any of your families caught it, please get well soon. Um, the countdown's on for my next Premier League prediction video. I'm counting it down already. But anyway, guys, before I make this video, I'll give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers.